The period of time spanning from 1400s to 1600s is commonly referred to as the Renaissance, a word which literally means born anew or rebirth, is a name we've given to a period immediately following the Middle Ages in Europe which saw a great revival of interest in the classical learning and values of ancient Greece and Rome. But the biggest game changer of this time, the Gutenberg's printing press. Gutenberg was a German blacksmith who created the first mechanical movable type printing press. This invention made it possible to distribute music on a wide scale. There are three major parts of Renaissance. Early Renaissance, High Renaissance, and Late Renaissance. During the Early Renaissance, art introduces a greater degree of naturalism by placing an emphasis on the observational drawing of the human figure. During the High Renaissance, Rome became the cultural capital, and it is also during this time that art reached an unsurpassed grandeur. During late Renaissance, war plagued Italy, causing the instability of the region. The counter-reformation of the Catholic Church stifled the creativity of the artists, which eventually caused the Renaissance movement to end. Here are some of the artists during the Renaissance period. The first is Leonardo da Vinci. In a quest to improve his artwork, Leonardo turned to science. His study of nature and anatomy was evident in his superbly realistic paintings, and his understanding of the human body paved the way for remarkably precise figures. The second one is Michelangelo. One of the artists who inspired Michelangelo was Lorenzo Ghiberti, a Florentine artist from the early 1400s. Ghiberti designed the metal doors for the cathedral in Florence, which showed scenes from the Old Testament. Michelangelo was familiar with Ghiberti's work, having been brought up in Florence himself. Although Ghiberti died before Michelangelo was born, it is said that the Adam Michelangelo painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel was based upon Ghiberti's Adam and Eve. The last one is Raphael. Raphael was particularly influenced by Leonardo's Madonna and Child with Saint Anne pictures, which are marked by an intimacy and simplicity of setting uncommon in the 15th century art. Here are some examples for painting or drawing, sculpture or art installation, architecture, dance or music. For painting, Mona Lisa. The painting Mona Lisa is one of the best and most famous masterpiece of Leonardo da Vinci. This painting is done through oil on wood. And one thing that makes this painting unique from other paintings is that even if you look at it in different angle, it seems like Mona Lisa's eyes always follow you. The Last Judgment The Last Judgment was painted in the year 1541 by Michelangelo Bonarote and was placed in the altar of Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. For the sculpture is the Judith and Holofernes. Judith and Holofernes was made of bronze and sculpted by Donatilio. This sculpture shows the assassination of the Assyrian general Holofernes by Judith. Another example is the Madonna of Bruges. The sculpture Madonna of Bruges was created by Michelangelo Benarote. The message of the image tells that Mama Mary knows already what will happen to his child. That's why she didn't hold it tight and she let what baby Jesus wants to do and bear to do. For the architecture, the first example is the St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica is the most famous building built during Renaissance period and the architects were Bramante, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donato, Giacomo della Porta, and Maderno. The building was constructed in the year 1506 and it took 120 years to complete. Another example is El Escorial. El Escorial is a complex type building and it was located in Madrid, Spain. The construction of El Escorial was begun in the year 1563 and ended in the year 1584 by architect Juan Bautista de Toledo. So lastly, for the music, the first example is Meserere. Meserere was composed by the Italian composer Gregorio Allegri. Meserere is a multi-type of music and the most renowned music during Renaissance period. Another example is the Vespers. The Vespers was written in the year 1610 and the most well-known music by Claudio Monteverdi. The content of the Vespers is mixed of sacred and secular music.